One of my favorite results here is in space-time, sort of a big result is Einstein's equations, which say that the curvature of space depends on the presence of matter. That, uh, that when you are trying to decide uh, that, that if you have a, a thing that is following a straight line, let's say you shoot a laser in some direction, normally you think a laser just, the light from a laser just goes in a straight line. But actually, when there's a, a massive object, like a star or a black hole or something like that, the, um, the path of that laser light will be, will be turned by the presence of that mass. And that's Einstein's equations describe how that turning works. And um, they say that the curvature of space, the amount of turning depends on the amount of energy, uh, energy momentum um, that exists in, in space. Okay, so that's, that's how it works in, in sort of the space-time case. Okay, so now in our multi-way graph, we also think about paths through the multi-way graph. And we can also think about the presence of energy momentum in the multi-way graph. The presence of energy momentum in the, essentially, the quantum system that is described by this, this multi-way graph. And something really amazing happens, which is that what is the Einstein equations in space-time, in, in, the, in the classical uh, idea of space and time, turns out to be exactly Feynman's path integral in quantum mechanics. So in other words, the, the idea of these, these various paths that are, that are representing the possibilities in quantum mechanics, those paths are effectively being turned in this multi-way space by the presence of energy momentum, or more specifically by the presence of Lagrangian density, which is a relativistically invariant analog of energy momentum. Um, and uh, uh, that's, so in other words, the, the, the core of quantum mechanics, which is this this, uh, the, the way that the phases work in the path integral is the exact same phenomenon as the core of classical general relativity, um, the, the way that trajectories are turned by the presence of energy momentum in, in space-time. So that's a, a pretty cool thing, and I'm pretty excited about that.